Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk football. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk about some bets I like. I got them earlier in the week on my YouTube page, uh, youtube.com slash Dwyer70905. In the community section, I actually listed these picks a few days ago. I'm going to try to list betting plays in that community section as well as on this YouTube account for subscribers. Okay, so first, for this coming week, point spread play. I like the Cleveland Browns getting the points. I got them at 10. I believe the line's now 9.5 at home over the Baltimore Ravens. I understand the Ravens are a juggernaut. Just understand, despite what many talk show hosts are saying, Right, Colin Cowherd, for example, uh, about the Cleveland Browns. The Browns have actually won their last four home games. I believe this point spread is simply too much. Let me also say, I know Lamar Jackson has thrown for a lot of touchdowns. It's now later in the season. In some of his games, his passing numbers haven't been that great. I believe teams are starting to make the adjustment, right? I like the Browns getting the points. In a more controversial play, I like the Green Bay Packers getting the points on the road against the Vikings. I know the Vikings are a juggernaut at home, but understand, Dalvin Cook is one of the league's most valuable players, valuable to his team. He's banged up. Let me also say, I know a lot of people are upset reading these comments here online, these articles, that Aaron Rodgers made the Pro Bowl. Well, let me just say the obvious. Look at Aaron's low number of interceptions. Understand, Aaron has a relatively new relationship going with his head coach. I'm sure Aaron is adjusting to a new system. I believe Aaron Rodgers remains one of the best in the game. When it comes to a big-time December game, I know there's a Dak Prescott group out there that wants you to believe that Dak deserved to be in the Pro Bowl over Aaron Rodgers. All I could say about that, given that Dak this year has beaten one team with an above 500 record, and that was last week against the Rams, right? In a big game in December, to me, Aaron Rodgers is the quarterback I would pick over Dak Prescott to handle that game, right? I think Aaron Rodgers given more than a field goal here. In a divisional game against a rival without their key offensive weapon, should be able to cover. I like Green Bay getting the points. Finally, and I know this is controversial, I admit one team has more talent. But I like the Eagles getting the points at home over the Dallas Cowboys. Right? It's a Philly crowd. Dallas has dysfunction beyond belief right now. Right? Carson Wentz is on fire right now. I understand Philly's been struggling in some big matches. I understand that um, Philly's head coach has a losing record against the Cowboys. Okay, that's all true. But I'll just tell you, Carson Wentz, I believe, eight touchdowns to one pick. Uh, recently, um, a Philly team that has talent. They've just also had injuries. Guys like Lane Johnson missing parts of games. Right? A Cowboy team that, quite frankly, at times 
can lose to the Jets. Didn't the Jets beat the Cowboys this year? That Cowboy performance, hasn't it been uneven? Let me point out, too, one of the worst injuries a quarterback can have is a shoulder injury. Folks, that's the injury Dak Prescott has right now. Now, I know Dak is a gamer. You know the way these football players are. The guy can barely walk, but the guy is going to convince you and the training staff that he can play. Right? I understand. Dak Prescott's a warrior. I just don't see the track record with the Dallas Cowboys this year. I just don't see, you know, a bunch of wins of teams over 500. I just don't see a head coach who even Cowboy fans have a lot of confidence in. Right? I have to question the Dallas Cowboys. This is exactly the kind of game that they lose. Right? You start to take them for granted. You look at that Ram game and you say, my goodness, this is a Cowboy festival. Right? And then you have to ask yourself, well, how could the Cowboys be capable of that performance? Have this much talent? Have Amari Cooper? Have Zeke Elliott? even have a resurgent Jason Witten and yet the winner of this game right has a chance to win the division how is Philly with all of their injuries I mean it's practically a hospital ward over there in Philadelphia how is this Philly team you know kept together by scotch tape still with a chance to win the division this late in the season against this Cowboy team with far less injuries. To me, that, that says it all. The fact that Philly's in this, the fact that Carson Wentz is playing the best football he's played all year right now, and importantly, the fact that Philly is home. I like the Eagles getting the points. So to sum up, I like some underdogs here. I like the Browns getting the points. I like Green Bay getting the points. And I like the Eagles getting the points. Let me also add this too. And this is just a money line play. I know it's fashionable right now to criticize the New England Patriots. Right? Isn't the storyline that, you know, Tom Brady has no one to throw to? Right? Isn't the emerging storyline that Tom Brady, somehow with no one to throw to, is supposed to be showing old age? <laughs> right? It's like, which one is it? Is it that he has nothing to work with, or is it that he himself is having problems? <laughs> right? Um, how do we reconcile that story with the fact that the Patriots... If they win out, get the two seed, assuming that the Ravens hold serve. Right, folks? The two seed is everything. Bill Belichick understands that if you get to skip the first round of the playoffs, that's a win. You're into the next round. And, of course, if you have the two seed, that next round is in your stadium. Let me also point out, too, I know people are getting carried away, right? KC snapped. The Patriots' home streak. Okay, fine. I'll just say that, you know, we might as well call it for what it is. KC and the referees. Snap the Patriots' home streak. Well, guess what? Whether it's snapped or not, understand the Patriots at home, especially in the Semper, are extremely hard to beat. Extremely. The last I looked... Belichick is still on the sidelines. Tom Brady is still the quarterback. Stephen Gilmore is in the running for Defensive Player of the Year. Also, has anyone figured out that this rookie guy, Enkeel, uh, has a couple of touchdowns? I know the Bills have had a great year. 
I know the Bills, if things break a certain way, might be able to get the second seed. I'm expecting the Patriots to win the game here. I'm not going to play the point spread in that game. But I do like the Patriots over the Bills. Right? I think the Patriots are a proud team. I think the Patriots, more importantly, are an experienced team who understand that this is a must-win game for them. Right? This is a team that's thinking Super Bowl. They want to defend their title. Let's remember, they are the reigning champions. Right? So they aren't going to let this opportunity to win a game at home in December to maintain that two seed slip away, especially not against a team in their division. I like the Patriots on a money line as my fourth play. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Let me also say too. Right? I know Jameis Winston is missing his top two receiving targets. Right? But, even though I think Tampa's going to lose that game, I don't feel as strongly about that game as I do these. Right? These are the games I like. Let me hear from you. If there are games that fascinate you that you feel give the gamblers here an edge on the casino I hope you leave that information in the comment section of this video thanks for stopping by